In this video, we're going to calculate the interquartile range. We will use this formula here, Q3 minus Q1, or the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. I'm going to use these two steps here. So first, let's find the quartiles. So first, I need to find the median. So it's the middle number when they are in order. So this one doesn't have a middle number, so it's halfway. So I split it into half here, there. So now I need to find the median of each half, well, of this bottom half here, then the lower quartile is going to go between the 4 and the 5, so that's going to be 4.5, that's Q1. And the upper quartile, quartile is going to go in between there, split into two halves, and that's going to be um, 8.5. So the interquartile range, which I'm just going to simplify to AQR, is going to be 8.5 take away just need to move over a little bit here, yeah, 4.5, and do the subtraction, and we're going to get the answer is 4. So the interquartile range is 4. Right, let's move on to the second question here. So again, let's work out our median, split these into half. Well, the 9 is our median, and now we exclude that when we're working out our quartiles. So our Lower quartile goes there, that's the medium of the bottom half, so Q1 is 5.5. And the upper quartile will go there, so Q3 is 11. So our interquartile range is going to be 11, uh, take away 5.5. And if I do this correctly, our interquartile range is going to be 5.5.